All right, give me my goodies. I worked up quite a bit doing all my farming. Yay. <laughs> Gonna need that QP. I burned through all of my all of my other stuff. Although to be fair, with as much as I grinded, getting uh getting just 2 million doesn't seem like worth the effort for what, all that I did. All right, what is this? Leaf too belly. Oh, it gives me more of this stuff. All right. Not like I need it. I think I have six of the buster and six of the quick stuff. I think I burned through all the art stuff, or at least was doing the places that didn't drop it. Or at least, if they did, they didn't give it to me. Rift Valley P. And that puts us at the halfway point. Each team is clawing their way forward, trying to take the lead. Still, this next area might be way less eventful than what we're used to now. What does the next area ask? Well, it's a garden. A what? Garbin. Not... A garbin is, well, it's basically a sort of natural straight trench between two faults. Oh. N not at all. I just happen to know that because it was in a book I read when I was bored once, so... Super interesting, you two, but save the geography lesson for when we go to commercial. All eyes on the live feed, please. Our racers all made it here at once. If I was to make a prediction, I'd say this is the most distinctly summerish area of the race. I'm sure. I see our surroundings have changed yet again. This is a water environment, eh? Game? Oh, there we go. I was like, game? Do you want to... A river! This is more summerish. It should be a lot nicer to race here than the last area. So it'll be perfect for helping me blow off steam. Indeed. Places like this are great sources of temptation. I smell all manner of forbidden things here. I must be more vigilant than ever. <laughs> this looks to be the perfect spot to cool off after feeling the heat of re-entry. Though granted, I'm already feeling fairly cool after Ishtar shut us down when I just got a little bit greedy with our re-entry angle. I almost ended up a burnt Nobuku... K Kabu? Ishtar's beam might be goddess class, but my driving technique is galaxy, galaxy class level. I can handle anything she throws at us. Demon King of the Sixth Heaven. Now I see. Water must have come flowing into the Garbin to form something like a long straight river. That's right. So this stretch is going to be a water race. Still, no flying, but racers can swim or skim as they like. They can choose to use the water or ignore it completely and stick to land. I expect to see a lot of variety in this leg of the race. Of course, given how things have gone so far, I wouldn't be too surprised if someone comes along to mix things up. Alright, who is this supposed to be? I did enjoy the passionate heat of the volcano, but this cool water is not bad either. The sounds of nearby birds twittering their songs of love, the wind caressing us with gentle spray from the running springs, the nameless grass gathered along the river's edge. What a peaceful picture this river paints. It truly is a beauti- <laughs> How dare you! Isn't that... You called me beautiful, didn't you? I'll kill you! Nobody said anything of the sort. No, I can tell what you're thinking. It's written all over your faces. I will kill you for it. I've heard of self-consciousness, but this is freaking absurd. Uh... Nods. It's hard to be properly aware of things around you sometimes. I guess that's kind of berserkery. Well, she did suffer a great deal of trauma when she was alive, so... Sure. <laughs> Gorilla-esque queen. <laughs> Nonetheless, I remember now. If I do not explain this part, there will have been no point in my signing the contract to be this land's guardian. Listen well. 
The most important element of your voyage along this river is beauty. Beauty? Is that so? I can say I fully understand why, but that makes it sound like a place made just for me. Be beautiful racers. In this area, the more beautiful you are, the faster you shall go. Truly? This place is evidently designed to confer some sort of supplementary effect to your speed, in proportion to your beauty. Though I do not know if it has always been so, or if someone placed a special bounded feel here for that purpose. <laughs> Ishar, did you do this? Of course! It's the only part of the race with water, so I thought it deserved to have its own unique twist. Besides, I'm the goddess of beauty, so it's pretty on brand, don't you think? I see. A unique twist, huh? Water and beauty go together like ambrosia and nectar, so I figured this could be a way to use the river to let the racers race faster. We've got all that lovely water right there, after all. It'd be a waste not to take advantage of it. Sure. <clears throat> I accepted this position once I learned of this area's unique pr properties. So, go forth and be beautiful, racers. That is what I desire as well. Are you sure? Won't it be a problem if we move too quickly? Not at all. The more beautiful you all are, the less beautiful I seem in comparison. You've got to be kidding me. Yep, definitely way too self-conscious. So, if you only took this job because you didn't want anyone calling you beautiful... Does that mean you're not going to go all out of your way to interfere in our race? Precisely, yes. Besides, there is nothing in my job description that obligates me to do so. While this is a most interesting idea for our race, there is no significant problem. There is nothing so difficult to judge as beauty. I agree. It's inherently subjective. So how exactly is our beauty going to be judged? Without a clearly defined standard, we won't have any basis on which to form a strategy. It doesn't seem like it made for a very would make for a very interesting battle. Well, given that I am clearly the epitome of beauty by any standard, victory is already as good as mine anyway. Why you? I won't stand for that. We pharaohs are exceptionally beautiful just by virtue of being pharaohs. Our radiance lights up every womb we walk into, and that's just our natural state. Not to worry. I knew some sort of standard would be necessary to facilitate such a competition. Fortunately, I happened to find two people nearby who claimed they were born to be beauty judges, so I brought them along. I shall have them assess each team's beauty. I am told that one shall handle the racers, while the other will be focused on their vehicles. First, to judge our racers, we have Mr. B, connoisseur of young girls. Oh, Jesus Christ, no, please tell me it's not Blackbeard. Please don't be Blackbeard. Oh, fuck me, it's Blackbeard! <laughs> His catchphrase is Moe is the forward compatibility of beauty. Therefore, the one that who is the most beautiful is the one who is the most Moe. Whatever that means. Well, I have never agreed with a, uh, with a sentence in Fate Grand Order more than I ever agree with this. What the fuck is Moe anyways? I know people used to throw that around. I don't know if they still do a lot. But I think from what little knowledge I understand, it's just a fancy way of saying cute or adorable. Kind of like the same problem I have with a lot of, like, English internet slang. It just seems like they've made up a word for a word that already exists. I don't know. Someone get back to me on that. Oh, that's why he asked if I was going to give him a, uh, a unique voice. Fuck it. I'm going to see how my voice sounds mechanized when I just do his voice. <laughs> that's right, it's me. You know you can't have a swimsuit event without me around. For what are our swimsuits, and the areas they cover, if not the stuff of dreams? 
This kind of event only comes around once a year, so I just gotta participate! Why wouldn't they bring me in for the sick and glorious year of this swimsuit festival? Oh no, the girl's smooth and bouncy bits are slipping out in a wardrobe malfunction. Worry not, for that is a dream come true. Wrote that bit of dialogue myself. Feel free to use it in your fanfics, but credit me for it. What is it? How come everyone got so quiet? Oh, I get it. You want to hear more about my dreams? Oh, alright. Since I'm such a fan favorite, I can't let everyone down, can I? Maybe in JP? Not so much here. Right, listen up. You see, girls hide the bits they don't want to s you to see under their swimsuits, get it? That means that they don't hide is fair game for all the oogling your lonely heart desires. It's a free pass to enjoy the show. What kind of fool would you have to be to not take them up on that sweet offer? Wow, translation team did not think that sentence through now, did they? Um... Ho! Oh, uh... Hmm... Uh... Hmm... I'm, uh... I'm not gonna touch that. So go on! Take it all in! Everything they're showing off! Armpits, thighs, navels, armpits again! Laudatem Domus Illustris. <laughs> oh, thank you, Armor. Without you, I've been dead in an instant. This behavior is truly unacceptable. His very existence is unacceptable. I shall finish him off myself, and then I shall soak his remains in salt for a full week. Huh? Now that's just uncalled for. Are you perhaps unaware of the tragic fate that awaits me? Meh, whatever. Couldn't keep doing what I love doing if a bit of salt bothered me. We pirates do whatever we want and nothing else. Boom. Very well, then. Eh, uh, wait, please. I was just kidding. Sheesh. You'd think someone as sexy as you would know how to take a joke. I'm really beginning the translation team does not understand how to translate Blackbeard. I'm really starting to get that vibe. Call it a hunch! I swear that my heart is as pure as Miss Helena's chest is flat. Here now, I am but Mr. B, a faithful judge. Or rather, to be precise, I'm just a robot that was made specifically to serve that role. Beep, boop. I'd have thought the whole metal buddy thing would tip you off. Oh, a robot, you say? Beauty standards may be inherently subjective, but the boss still wanted someone to evaluate the racers, and calmly and impartially as possible. That's why the boss decided to use a machine, and copy over the personality of someone well suited to be such a judge into it. Given my finely honed tastes and opinions about beauty, I may offend you with my statements at times. But I hope you will overlook that, as it is merely a recreation of the original model's rudeness. After all, there is nothing more pointless than getting angry at a machine, is there? <laughs> if he really is a robot, I'll have to turn him into a self-checkout machine later. Next is the vehicle judge. Her catchphrase is, I delegated the rest of my work to my most dependable staff. I'm sure they won't mind a little extra. Good day, servants I have never met before. My name is Masqueraded Count. There is no one better suited to judge beautiful gadgets than yours truly. Oh, and in case you were wondering, I'm wearing this mask to be respectful of our... Entrance? After all, it wouldn't be fair if a judge was more beautiful than those she was judging, would it? Oh, sure, we skip by that... J oh, thank God. <laughs> She's finally shown her true colors. Come to think of it, she did only mention backing us up until her turn rolled around, didn't she? Now I see what she meant by that. And so, these are the two judges who will be evaluating your beauty. If you wish to race faster than your opponents, you will need to demonstrate your beauty to them. 
That's right. So don't be shy about putting it all out there. And I do mean all vulgar hand gestures. So you know I'm very strict when it comes to judging. Industrial design, form factor, how it, how cool it looks in my function, motion. Functional design, overall balance. My standards are more toneless and comprehensive. So if you want to meet them, you'll need to demonstrate every aspect of your craft's potential. Essentially, I want to see something that will make my inventor's soul sing. Though I will grant you that it is a pretty tall order. Yikes. What an unpleasant person that count is. I wonder who it could be under that mask. Yeah, Augie? King David? Maybe even King Ozymandias? I could see that. Yeah. No, you can't. You really have no idea who that is. You couldn't be farther off the mark if you tried. Enough! Now that you understand what this race entails, I shall say one last thing. If I am left to, of to my own devices, I am cursed to grow more beautiful at a moment's notice. <laughs> oh, you're cursed too, huh? Guess there's nothing for it then. Just when I thought she couldn't be any more absurdly self-conscious. So, be as beautiful as you can and be quick about it. I will pursue you as the particulars of my job require, but I will not interfere. Your advice is noted, but unneeded. I am already the ultimate beauty, and I will, s and I still have limitless room to grow further. This race is all but a foregone conclusion. If what you seek is for someone else to be more beautiful than you... Then sit back and watch me race, secure in the knowledge that you are witnessing a zenith of beautiful or beauty you could never hope to reach. There you have it. The third race is a riverside stage where the beauty is the key to victory. You really don't want to lose this stage, ladies. Just imagine the cool spray of water glistening in the air, blood and sweat flying off the racers as they vie for the top spot. Piles and piles of money's rolling in from satisfied customers. What could be better? These women are putting their pride on the line for this race, and I can't wait to see how it turns out. Yay. Ugh. Rift Voli. Alright, well now I get to go and do some uh, recreational farming because uh not really much else I need if I'm being honest. I guess I could go for the four star foos, but Oh no wait, those are No wait, those are uh Those are three stars, my bad. I thought those were four stars. There's the four stars. I don't really need them, though. Pretty decent on all the uh, other items, too. I guess I could stock up on caster monuments in case I get someone, but... So far, my luck with that hasn't, uh, hasn't bore any fruit yet. But, uh, that's gonna be it for now, guys. So, until next time, I will catch you all later. Asta.